collapse of the earth and mountains. On that day, the earth and the mountains will be violently shaken, and the mountains will be a heap of sand pouring down. Surah Al-Muzamil, 73, 14. Large tectonic movements or massive meteorite impacts could cause significant changes in the Earth's crust and lead to mountains being displaced. This could result in massive earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. The sky splitting and becoming fragile. The sky will crack and become fragile. Surah al haqqa 6916. The breakdown of the atmosphere's structure or significant cosmic events, such as gamma ray bursts, could lead to major changes in the sky. The thinning or damage of the atmosphere could explain this phenomenon. The sun and moon joining together. When the eyes are dazzled, the moon darkens, and the sun and the moon are joined together. Surah Al-Qiyama, 75, 7-9. The joining of the sun and moon could be due to a major astronomical event or significant changes in their orbits. For example, the moon crashing into the earth or the sun expanding to engulf the earth could explain this scenario. The seas boiling over. When the seas are set on fire and Surah at Takwir, 81.6. Significant increases in heat on Earth, volcanic activity, or the sun expanding and becoming scorching could cause the seas to boil over. The movement of mountains. When the mountains are set in motion. Surah at Takwir, 81, verse 3. This verse might be referring to large tectonic movements, earthquakes, or significant surface changes that could cause mountains to move from their places. Additionally, this phrase could also be interpreted as the destruction and fragmentation of mountains. The rolling up of the heavens, the day when we will fold up the sky like the folding of a written scroll. Surah Al-Anbiya 21, verse 104. This could be explained by the halting and reversal of the expansion of the universe, known as the Big Crunch scenario. The universe collapsing back into a single point could explain this phenomenon. And now, let's move to the seventh sign. When the seas overflow, Surah Al-Infitar, 82.3. This verse hints at a dramatic event where the seas could erupt. A possible cause for this could be large cracks and earthquakes on Earth, causing ocean waters to mix with the underground. Or perhaps volcanic eruptions could cause the seas to overflow onto the surface. Next, we have the eighth sign. The sky will be like molten metal. Surah Al-Ma'arij, 78. This verse suggests a scenario where the sky appears to melt. Possible causes for this could be extreme heating of the atmosphere or space, the sun's excessive expansion, or the effects of cosmic rays, which could cause the atmosphere to melt and flow like liquid. Moving on to the ninth sign. When the stars are scattered, Surah Al-Infitar, 82, 2. This verse describes a time when stars will fall or scatter. The possible causes might include the expansion or collapse of the universe, supernova explosions, or major cosmic events that could dislodge stars from their positions, causing them to move and scatter. These explanations aim to provide a possible scientific perspective on the events described in the Quran regarding doomsday. However, the exact manner in which these events will occur remains largely unknown and the descriptions in religious texts may use metaphorical language to convey the magnitude and severity of these events.